Do you want to fill spots and get paid for your next online workshop? Yes. I'm going to show you how to create a stunning promotional design with Adobe Express, the quick and easy create anything app using generative AI, which is super helpful when you don't have the time or budget for a photo shoot. We're going to craft an Instagram campaign for a productivity workshop that looks professional for a fictional small online business called the Focus Lab. In this video, we're going to use generative AI to create an image for our promo materials that we're going to use on all of them. And the key to success when using Gen AI is crafting really precise prompts to get exactly what you need out of it. So here are a couple of quick tips on how to craft effective prompts. So number one is be specific. Clearly describe what you want, including details like style, color, and mood. Use adjectives, so add descriptive words to convey tone and style. Specify the purpose or the setting for the image that you want it to create. Prioritize key details, so mention the most important elements first in your prompt. Then you're gonna wanna test and refine, so experiment with slight adjustments to your prompt to see how those changes affect the results. So now that you have kind of like a better idea on how to craft a good prompt for your generative AI, we're gonna generate ours. On the home screen for Adobe Express, we're gonna come here to generate with AI, and we're gonna hit generate image. Over on the left here is gonna be where we put our prompts that we talked about. So the prompt I'm gonna add here is a modern productive home office setup with warm lighting, a sleek laptop, a cup of tea, minimalist aesthetic, and calm neutral tones, white space above for text. And when I say white space above, I just mean like space above that we can put text on the background image. Before we hit generate on our prompt, you can actually add reference images for style and composition if needed. And we can also change the content type, um, automatic photographic arts, I'm gonna hit photo. And then there are some different styles here. So I have added my prompt, I'm gonna hit generate and we're gonna see what comes up. So down here we can see results and we can see what they've given us. Some of these are pretty good, I actually like that one. We can have the AI generate more if we don't like what we see by just clicking generate more. I kind of like this one, so we're gonna use this. Let's start with our Instagram in feed first. We're gonna come up here to resize and then we're gonna hit Instagram add and hit resize. Now we can see that we've resized our artboard, but our image is a bit too small, but we're just gonna crop that image and it's going to change for all of our layouts anyway. So I can resize the image by clicking the corner and dragging it up and I can just kind of move it around until I'm pleased with it. I would actually recommend if you're doing a whole campaign, if you're doing an in-feed post, make a couple of different slides so that you don't have to have all of that information on just one slide. So I have already created a brand kit for the Focus Lab. So I'm just gonna come over to brands and I'm gonna click on Focus Lab. As you can see here, I have my fonts and the logo that is specific to the Focus Lab, which I can pull from for this project. To add text, I'll come over to the left and click on text, paste in my headline, choosing fonts from my brand that I imported earlier. So the headline for our campaign is gonna say, boost your productivity online. That's gonna be the biggest thing here. So we're just gonna paste in our tagline that just kind of tells the audience what this workshop is gonna be about. So we're just gonna massage our design here by adjusting text, scale, position, and color by making adjustments in the window on the left. I'm gonna come over here to text, add your text, and then I'm going to just paste in reserve your spot today. And then I want it to be the same font as the heading. So I'm just going to select that, come over to the left here, and we can see the fonts that are in use in this design there right here. We are going to change that color to white. And now we're gonna add the block behind here. Um, let's try, what does a circle look like? We like the circle, we don't like it in yellow. We're gonna change the color by coming to fill eyedropper. Let's pick a nice color from the image. And as you can see, the circle is like nice and big and the text is like really small, but we can adjust that text to fit inside the circle a little bit better by dragging the edge of the text box. And you can see as I do that, it just fills that circle a little bit better and that actually looks really nice. And I'm actually gonna go back and change the color of that shape to this green. This is looking good. I'm happy with how it looks, but we're kind of missing a logo. I think adding the branding would look good. So we're gonna come over here to brands and I've already uploaded the Focus Lab logo here. So we can add this by just clicking it. It will automatically add it. And we're just gonna make this pretty small in the corner. It's not a super necessary piece of information since it's on their Instagram already. Once we're happy with our design, we're gonna resize this for platforms. We're making a campaign, so we're gonna do an Instagram story, Instagram in-feed post. Maybe we'll do a square one for Facebook. 
A really simple way we can do this is come up here to resize, select the sizes we want to resize into, then select duplicate and resize. We can then make any adjustments to each of our layouts by double clicking on our design under the pages window. Adobe Express has all of the up-to-date sizes that you can resize your work into with super minimal effort so you don't have to memorize anything. Since these are going on social media, we're gonna export these as JPEGs by just coming up to download, page selection, all pages, that's going to download all of these for us. We're gonna select JPEG and then we're gonna hit download, save those, drop them on your phone and get your ads going. Just like that, you've got yourself a nice little campaign for your next workshop. Give it a try for your next online event with Adobe Express.